Good to have you. Please. So um, this is interesting uh, because people say it's a wake-up call. So let me just start with our Twitter poll question first. Yeah. Do you think Kenya is prepared for a cyber attack? Okay. Considering what has happened in the world, no one is con is really prepared for such a high magnitude of cyber attack, mm -hmm. uh, especially now that it has attacked over 150 countries in the world. That is half of the world's population. You wouldn't really imagine, even if you have to put infrastructure right. against such activities, yeah. it's very difficult to prepare for it generally. That's right. And uh, because I was uh, coming in and listening to the news that, you know, China has also been greatly mm. affected mm. by that. Mm. Um, and so many think, well, China, you know, is sort of the bastion of mm. technology. Um, so what are some of the gaps that allow this malware, um, you know, to come into our systems? Now, first of all, people need to understand that some of these activities, that um, especially the world agencies we, that deal with cybersecurity, mm -hmm. they develop certain programs and capabilities that they want to try and see if they would work. Mm -hmm. Now, if certain information or part of that program, uh, program leaks out, mm -hmm. then someone else would take advantage of that and try to experiment it with uh -huh. regards to getting certain uh, financial or monetary gains. So you're saying we know where it possibly came from? Uh, um, is there a theory I'll give you a amongst uh, I, I don't want to get into the theories, uh -huh. but I'll give you a chronology of events that have taken place in the last four days okay. that would probably mean it. Please. Now, first of all, in, uh, by 14th of March this year, mm -hmm. uh, the Microsoft company uh, advised people who are using Windows. In fact, they released an alert telling people who are using Windows computers to just update their systems. Right. Now, majority of the people didn't do that. Yeah. Thereafter, a month later, uh, the National Security Agency of the United States claimed that part of their security system or the system which they had developed, known as Eternal Blue, Eternal Blue uh, Special, it's a special program mm -hmm. that they had uh, developed to try and monitor other activities that are taking place across the world, especially with regards to specifically the Microsoft computers, and these are Windows computers. Uh -huh. Now, that information leaked out. Somebody picked it. And there, uh, a month later, we are receiving this attack. Now, I don't want to accuse anyone or okay. any agency, but you can understand some of the... But it's worth noting that timeline of events. Yes. Okay, so this is interesting. So... Um, Talk to us about some of the countries that have been affected and, and the notable ones. We've seen what's happened in the UK with their national health system. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, what have been some of the notable consequences yeah. of this attack across the world? Now, first of all, this uh, malware, it's known as, uh, or it has been given a name already, known as WannaCry uh, malware. <laughs> it's attacking like, uh, uh, or today it, it has over 230,000 victims. Wow. What it does is that it takes control of your computer system and then asks you to pay a certain amount of money, which is 300 US dollars, but it doubles with, uh, if you don't pay with time. And then what happens is that uh, after that, then it takes control. Now, I would advise people also not to pay that money because uh -huh. once you make that transaction online, uh -huh. again, they get to have details Absolutely. of your accounts. Yes. Now, one thing that people also need to understand is that the moment you fail to uh, put systems, especially if you're an organization that deals a lot with uh, online activities or internet-based activities, mm -hmm. most likely this software, if it invades you, it replicates itself in something known as computer worms. Now, computer worms is an activity or that is undertaken by either softwares or technicians or computer technocrats mm -hmm. who try to replicate the same oh. kind of malware okay. across other platforms. Wow. So it's very difficult to contain even if you have to face one server after another to just clean it up to remove the code. Okay. But an, an intelligent young man, a 22-year-old man in UK, uh -huh. has managed to find a switch code that has put it off temporarily. Okay. But now that people are wa back to work today on a Monday, yeah, yeah. most likely They'll people will come and back and then the same switch will okay, be on. Okay, so you mentioned in the beginning that you know Microsoft had warned people to update their security. Yeah. I think I know I'm one of those. When I see those updates, <laughs> I ignore, I say later, uh, you know, let's not do this now. Mm -hmm. Now, remind mm. me in 30 minutes, in mm. an hour. Mm. Um, so what do we do now? Now that WannaCry is here with us, yeah. what are some of the steps um, individuals and organizations and countries can do mm. um, towards uh, stemming this, uh, the tide? The first thing that you need to do is to, if you have vital uh, files in your computer, mm -hmm. try to save them on, offline. Okay. Just take them out. In so the this meantime. is not cloud and, and, and that sort of saving? Yeah. 
there yeah. because that's going to be affected Just try as to well, save yeah? them offline in okay. the meantime. All right. Second thing, update your um, windows. Mm -hmm. There is the window patch that you need to update. Just up, uh, install the full mm -hmm. patch and then try to have reputable systems or security systems around all your architectural activities with regards to online activities, digital or computer technologies. That would help a lot because at least it will warn you and when you're warned, you will just rush and try to find out how to mitigate. Okay, and we're seeing all of these forwards now um, on WhatsApp. Don't open a file, which is, is it tac.exe, that sort of mm. thing. Uh, so how do we know <laughs> when you see one cry? <laughs> what are the signs? Most of, most of those forwards <laughs> are, are, are just malicious kind yeah. of activities. Yeah. Try so it's people just getting excited with yeah, the way. Yeah, but again, one thing that you need to understand yeah. is that this software spreads in two ways. The one, first one I've explained, which is computer one, mm -hmm. warm, and then there is another one, which is phishing now email phishing for example you can receive an email whether it's just for promotional gains mm -hmm. or it's just a direct email into your inbox then you received the moment you open that email it takes control of certain information like it phishing picks a majority of uh, your credentials the most vital credentials like right. email passwords, email accounts yeah, passwords right. logging credentials so it tries to go against any form of activity that uh, would help you to regain access to your accounts now when that information is is, uh, is fetched from your account, it's transferred directly to their database or yeah. somewhere where they are conducting this activity. And it's automatic, so it's automated in other words. Okay. It, it doesn't, somebody doesn't need to be there. It will just ask you. I and remember, uh -huh. it transfers this to the specific language that you are using on your computer. For example, okay. today, this particular malware uh -huh. or uh, ransomware has been translated in 28 languages across the world. Wow. That is big. And so UK is suffering, yeah. uh, 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 China, China is suffering, is suffering right. Ukraine is suffering, mm -hmm. Russia in a big way. Okay, let me yeah. ask uh, very quickly about, you know, Africa. Mm. Have we had any reports about this? You know, are we one of those uh, 150 countries or uh, it's just just one of those that that passed to the continent in africa by. we haven't had a serious case yeah. but uh, for example kenya mm -hmm. senegal are on the radar in, uh, okay. uh, and and they have been alerted because kenya does a lot of technological transactions right. uh, on the digital platform mm. kenya has been warned to just keep to just watch be careful. because yeah okay so mark as we conclude why would anyone want to do this i, I mean <laughs> yeah i suppose besides getting kicks and seeing 150 countries mm. and you know millions of people like you said 200 and 30,000 mm. victims. Mm. But why does anyone release malware? Mm. As I, I told you, some of these malwares are released by companies, big companies, oh, so or governmental this. agencies. Oh my gosh, this sounds like those conspiracy theories that yes. we would watch in some series or the other. Exactly. Some of them are done by individuals who would want to do experimental activities. Okay. But this kind of attack uh -huh. in the world, I don't think an individual would sit down yeah. and maybe just develop something yeah. for the sake of it. It could be somebody, some organization was working on a very, very expansive kind of project that would uh, militarily act in any way. Then somebody leaked certain information mm. that gave it out to the entire world or set, a certain individuals so who are attacking the So there's monetary world. gain, obviously. Yeah, huge. Yeah. Huge. There are huge monetary gains because finally you will either pay or yeah. you, they will find a solution. If you don't right. find a solution, you will pay. And the person who finds a solution will, will ask you to paid, pay yes. for you yeah. to gain your, your yeah. funds. I'm sure the NSA is looking for whoever that is uh, <laughs> who would come up with, uh, with a solution Already to there this is one. Who has Already tried. there's someone who's tried, so yeah. I'm pretty sure there's yeah. all the authorities across the world who are speaking to sure. him now. As a young man, you said, huh? 22 About years old. About 22. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank He's you. our editor at the Standard Digital Department, Mark Obar. Wow. What a conversation. So the next time uh, you get that notification to upgrade uh, your software, please do that. And uh, remember that our Twitter poll question is still running. We're asking you whether you think Kenya is prepared for cyber attacks. Remember, Marco Bartel.